Hi everyone, how are you doing today? You are so welcome to my channel. If you're here for the first time, you're very welcome. I am Sarah Pedun. And for the returning subscribers, I do appreciate you. You're so welcome here. In today's video, I'm going to share with you 10 vegetables that you should always grow. Yes, 10 vegetables that you should always grow. Since I'm in Uganda, I'm going to start with the common ones that we have here. And my number one is skuma wiki, which is the colored grains. Skuma wiki seeds are so available. You can easily get the seeds for skuma wiki. Once you have planted skuma wiki, you are going to always harvest. It is pick and come again. Every week you're going to pick and enjoy your vegetable. So even if you don't have any other vegetables, and you have skuma wiki, you are covered. The other advantage of colrads or skuma wiki is that it takes long. If you plant, you don't have to keep planting every season. You'll have it for at least two years if you've taken good care of it. So why not plant skuma wiki? Number two is amaranth. Dodo, buga, the amaranth is delicious. Here in Uganda, we are so lucky. We have lots of volunteer amaranth. You could be walking by the roadside and you see lots of them that have grown. It is something that grows easily here. You will plant once and maybe you will not have to plant it again. Because when you plant and you keep harvesting, you let it go to seed. The seeds will drop and it will always come. You'll even get the one that you didn't plant, the different types of amaranth. Amaranth is delicious and nutritious, and there are different varieties. There is one that I've planted, it's even getting taller than me. <laughs> and then I have volunteers, I have different types. Some maybe I planted some time back and forgot about them. And now I'm seeing them, I'm, I'm seeing them, I'm wondering where they came from. They are very good volunteers. They will fill your tummy and make you happy. My number three is potatoes. Yes, potatoes. And I don't mean any other complicated potatoes. I mean sweet potatoes. Sweet potatoes is delicious. It's nutritious. It's good for your body. And here in Uganda, they grow so easily. Not only do they grow very easily, you can easily get the sweet potato vines. If your neighbor has, you just ask neighbor, can I have a vine or two? They'll give you a full wheelbarrow of sweet potato vines for free. You can eat the sweet potato leaves and the sweet potato roots, the tubers. I don't really, I've never eaten the sweet potato leaves, but my rabbits love, love, love the sweet potato leaves. Grow sweet potatoes, not only for the sweet potato tubers, but also the leaves. And they're also a good ground cover. You can easily plant them under, under matoke just to cover the soil. Not necessarily for the sweet potatoes, but to act as your ground cover so that your soil is always covered. Number four is cabbage. Cabbage is not very expensive here, but you can imagine if you bought a pack and planted, if you bought a packet of cabbage seeds and planted your own, you'll have endless cabbage. I have planted cabbage here in containers. So if you don't have space, you can plant them in containers. You can plant them in between your plants. Cabbage look very beautiful in your garden and tastes great. You can cook cabbage in different ways. You can have it as a salad. You can have it as a side dish. You can incorporate it in your food. You can put it in your soup. There are different ways to cook cabbage. One cabbage can feed the whole family. So if you have that space or that container, kindly plant cabbage. Number five is onions. You must plant onions. Onions in Uganda here, I think it's used in every dish. Whether you're just making a stew, whether you're frying, whether you're steaming. If you fry your food or cook without the onions, Something will be missing, however tasty it is. Onions come in different varieties. We have spring onions, the big bulbs, the tiny bulbs. You can choose from that what you want. 
If you don't have space or you're not so good at planting them, just go for the spring onions. You'll enjoy it as much as the bulb onions. Onions don't only taste good, but they are also very good for your immune system. My number six is beans. Beans is a complete food. You know, when you have beans, you have a complete food. You can only survive on beans. Okay, I think so. Beans contain most of the important nutrients that your body needs. I remember growing up in boarding school, we'll have beans. We would have beans every day. Okay, almost every day. And meat or meat and rice. Those are for special occasions, but on the daily, it was beans and portion. So if you could survive on beans at school, you know you're concentrating in class, and you can survive on beans. It shows how good beans is good for you. Beans are one of the easiest vegetables to grow. They are a variety. So you can just choose from, from the different types what you want to plant. What you want to plant. If you don't have enough space, you could go for the green beans, or bush beans, French beans, those that you pick when they're still green and you enjoy. If you don't have enough space, just do that. But if you have your space, you can explore with the different types of beans. Number seven is tomatoes. Tomatoes is a classic match to most foods in your kitchen. Actually, it is a must have in the kitchen. They can be eaten raw or cooked. And they are that type of vegetable that you benefit more when you eat when you eat it cooked. In Uganda here, people cook most things with tomatoes, you know. There are those who cannot stand raw tomatoes. Uh, it's even good for you because it's more you get all the nutrients from it when it is cooked than when you're eating it raw. You can eat it in your salads, you can cook it anywhere, you can just snack on tomatoes, you know. So that makes it a necessity in your kitchen. My number eight is carrots. Carrots, we are told, is good for your eyesight, you know. And they taste very nice, you know. When you eat, it, eat them raw, crunchy, it's just good to snack on them. But it's also nice when cooked. It makes your food also look very beautiful. And also in the garden, carrots do look really beautiful. They look like an ornamental plant in your garden. Carrots has very many health benefits, so yeah, you should include that in your garden. Right now, I don't have carrots in my garden, but very soon, I'm planting them. My number nine is lettuce. Lettuce is one thing that when you grow, you cannot get rid of, you know. When you grow and when they grow and they go to seed, you will have endless, endless lettuce. I grew, I grew lettuce here and all of us enjoyed, including the rabbits, the chicken, the turkeys. We all enjoyed. We enjoy in salads, burgers, juice, name it. We do love our lettuce. It's easy to grow. It looks beautiful and it's good for you. Number 10 is herbs. Grow your own herbs. You can grow some rosemary, oregano, thyme, mint. These things are not so hard to grow, you know. Just most of them, they are not so hard to grow. Most of them you can grow from cutting. Actually, all of them that I've mentioned, you can grow from cutting. So if a friend, neighbor, someone has mint, someone has the herbs, you can ask them if you can. they can offer you a cutting and plant your own. Or you can go to the market, buy them, and then plant. When you buy them from the market, pick out the fresh ones, the very fresh ones, and you plant. Those are my top 10 vegetables that you must grow. The other bonus is cucumbers. Cucumber is a fruit eaten as a vegetable. They are very delicious. They make delicious nuts. You can pickle them. I just like to pick it from the garden and enjoy. And the kids do love it. Another one is peas. You can grow Pigeon peas, you can grow cow peas, the different peas. I like to grow beans because it's easier for me, but you can grow peas. I have pigeon peas here. One plant is enough for us. Okay, maybe three plants are enough. The other one is beetroot. Beetroot contains a high amount of vitamins and minerals. 
So here, it's loosely said, beetroot helps you with blood. <laughs> I think because of the color. So guys, plant beetroot. It's good for you. When you grow your beetroots, you can enjoy the leaves before you can enjoy the roots. You can cook the leaves as you would to your Swiss chard. They actually even look a bit like Swiss chard. I have some beetroot growing in the garden, but they're very, very tiny. I can't wait for them to grow so I can start by eating the, the leaves. That is it for today. What other vegetables have I left out that is a must grow in your garden? Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed the video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. And if you have not yet subscribed but you like my kind of content, what are you waiting for? Kindly subscribe. I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.